As uh, we all know, Maryland's coastal communities are facing difficult decisions ahead. I feel pretty strongly against number four on category one. If that timeline and strategic plan to abandon infrastructure, what happens if my property is still standing there and, other, and my, resi my residence properties are standing, everything else is gone, the value plummets. You know, just banning new development on, uh, on floodplains, number one, are, you know, the kinds of things that we should have been at long ago. We have a consensus on 32. Preparing Maryland for unavoidable impacts of climate change is imperative as we are already experiencing damaging impacts of sea level rise and storms along Maryland's coast. Is there a consensus around option 31? I do think we need to do something to decrease demand. This is an issue that needs to be looked at, discussed, dialogued, and grappled with. I think that we really do need an element of the comprehensive plan. That's the guiding force in the county as far as addressing sea level rise and storm surge. So the goal today is to play a game. And some people say, oh my goodness, this is serious stuff and you want to play a game? You know, most of our conservation programs go to the landowner. But if my farmer friend here actually rents his land, he doesn't get that crep payment. He doesn't get that wetland reserve payment. Well, it turns out that role play exercises are a really good way of mastering a lot of very technical information okay, so, right, painlessly. So we, we now have a consensus mm -hmm. for 16, 17, and 18. I'm totally opposed to raising the rates because farming is, is, is expensive enough. It seems to me that by saying that for the heaviest users to receive the financial incentives, you run the risk of saying, well, I'm just going to keep using my water and pretty soon I'll qualify for this tax break. Okay, then maybe the word voluntary needs to be there. It wasn't a mundane exercise. It wasn't having somebody talk at us. We really got to sit around and think about um, the different options from different stakeholders' points of view. We're hoping that the activity today will inspire you to want to go back to your communities and engage in a process of collaborative problem solving where the goal is an informed consensus. This was dynamic, it was, it was fun, um, and I, I would recommend it.